Hi, it's Michael here from Fishing the Edge. If you have a look in the background behind me, there's our new fishing weapon. Wind's blowing pretty hard. Pretty ordinary day to go fishing, even in this big beast. We thought we might take a little bit of time out, have a walk around and just show you some of the features of the new boat. Well, here it is, seven metre Noble Super V. Variable dead rise, 38 to 24 degrees. Four mil sides, six mil bottom, full aluminium superstructure, awesome bit of kit. 300 horsepower engines is something I can say I do know a little bit about, more so the rally version. When it comes to marine engines and, and certainly 300 horsepower, Everwood E-Tech is definitely the way to go. 3.4 litres out of Chicago, Illinois, 90 degree V6, purpose-built marine engine. Three things we look for, reliability, fuel economy and power. And this package has got it all. It's capable of pushing this boat at around about 46 knots, which is incredible and certainly not a speed that I'm, I'm going to be doing too much in the ocean anyway. But at 22, 23 knots, fantastic fuel economy. I fish a lot in washes and dangerous areas around bombies. We've got the reliability and pulling live baits on the shelf, uh, chasing a marlin, one to 1.4 litres per hour. So great package and certainly the ideal package for this vessel. Some of the features under the water line at the transom here, trim tabs, definitely a must, certainly on a seven metre boat. There's a live bait pump here for one of the live bait tanks, and then the one kilowatt transducer that goes back up to the Lawrence Electronics. All the hydraulic hoses for the hydraulic steering. Pertec have done a great job there with some custom built, uh, built hoses and the stainless steel fittings and skin fittings that run back up to the autopilot and then back to the steering. A few features down the back. The obligatory bait table, measuring device, rod holders, place for your knives and pliers. And then drawer underneath here, leader material, soft plastics usually end up in there as well. Big ice box at the back with rubber feet. On the rubber floor, pretty well glued in position, but it's pretty easy to pick it up, move it around, so we can stick that up in the cabin when you're fishing. Gives you this huge dancing floor area here to fish out of, or leave it back down there for travelling, especially if it's a bit wet or rough twin battery boxes either side with the hatch to keep everything uh, out of the salt water. Deck wash hose, live bait tank, and down the floor we've got a big kill tank. We've also plumbed that as a live bait tank so we can keep live bonito, big slimy mackerels alive when we're marlin fishing. As well as being practical, it doesn't hurt to be a bit comfortable as well. Got the padded combings right around the boat. The rod hole is absolutely everywhere welded in to suit game fishing rods or whatever rods it is that you're gonna need. Side pockets for storage of tag poles, gaffs, etc. And then when it comes to tackle storage, instead of having a conventional seat, I've got this big padded cushion on a seat box. I've got storage underneath that lid and simply lift that lid up and storage underneath there for lures and all sorts of things. And I've got nine separate tackle trays built into that box as well. Up in the cockpit area, full set of clears to keep the salt water out. Electronics by Lowrance, LCX 112 sounder with the broadband, fantastic stuff. Lowrance <coughs> 9200 Global Map C with all the cards and charts that you need. Keep all your waypoints in there. I command system with the E-Tech engine, which shows fuel flow, shows absolutely everything that you can possibly need. Uh, we've got the, the VHF radio, trim tabs, course master autopilot, high drive hydraulic steering. Pretty well everything I need is here. All of the switches and bits and pieces for lights, pumps and etc. there. Plenty of storage up under the front. LED lighting, some in-floor lighting, uh, fabricated stainless steel rocket launcher that pivots to let me get the boat back in the shed. Uh, we've got the anchor light up there in the VHF aerial, GPS aerials up top, and then the great thing about this walk around cabin fishability. So come for a walk. Plenty of room up top. Padded combing, as we've already mentioned, up the front there, so you can lean your legs against it. A couple of rod holders, anchor well with about 300 metres of silver rope. And uh, on a nice day, you can even kick back, cruise around. Generally, I've got someone else up the front here. I don't get to fish up here too often and uh, put you on a few fish. Well, there it is. You've had a great look around the new boat. One thing left to do, a couple of mates, get out there and have a fish. We'll catch you later on.